What's up everyone, this is Cybernut, and today I have a special opening for you guys because we're opening up the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Structure Deck Albaz Strikes. So yeah, this is a brand new Structure Deck that's just been released today on Thursday. You guys will see this video a little bit later today because I just got done recording and I've had allergies so I, I probably sound a little lousy, but uh, I did all my recording. I was hoping to get this today, didn't get it through the mail, and then I went to Walmart and I happened to finally see them. And I was even at that Walmart earlier today and they weren't there. So I went on ahead and picked up three of them to, uh, I'm just going to open up one of them because it's all the same. You know, there's there's no randomization. It's the same thing. And I went in and got three just in case I decide to build the deck or whatever too. But yeah, this is basically one of the most hype structure decks. We opened it up too when it was out only for Japan a few months ago. So that's why I say subscribe so you guys can kind of get an earlier look and know what to look out for. And also, again, since everything that happened where I was like I had a week off because of YouTube, you know, kind of messing me up. Um, please check out my link with TCG Player. I'll have it where it takes you to this set. But if you use my link and buy anything from TCG Player, it will uh, help support the channel. And since, you know, ad revenue and things, I, I would really appreciate it, honestly, too. But, yeah, this is the brand new structure deck that has Tri Brigade, Dogmatica, Springins, and Sword Souls. It's like the whole lore thing with them. All about Albaz and its mini fusions. And basically, you're going to be able to buy three of these, uh, get a few extra cards, too, that aren't in this which looks like they're going to be like those from the past two and things like that, and build a very powerful deck. So, also, these are $10 each, if you're wondering. And again, they are not random. I've, I don't think there's anything random. Maybe the tokens? I think the tokens might be the only thing. So, we'll see. I can't remember if it's like the, uh, the Charmer structure, because remember, it was actually random which ones you got on that. There's the play map, by the way. Looks pretty nice. But yes, I recommend the Structure Deck, by the way. It is an easy recommendation. has some good reprints in it. And I like how it even has the lore right there, too, by the way. That's pretty cool. I wish they'd include more of that. Sometimes we talk about some of the lore, but it's like only Japan gets more info about it. So I'm hoping maybe we'll start to get a little bit more. And plastic. So let me get through this plastic real quick. All right. There we go. So... First off, we have Tri Brigade uh, Murray Courier. That one's really cool there. You can pause if you need to to uh, read off the effects. That's one of our ultra rares. Then we have Sriggin's uh, Kits. You may remember her. I think she was in one of the... She was one of the Link Monsters, I believe. Then uh, the Golden Sword Soul. I like that one. That one looks cool. Then, of course, one of our first fusions. This one is Mirror Jade the uh, Ice uh, Blade Dragon. It looks really awesome. So there's, you know, of course, he's on that side of the play map. And then our other fusion, which is, of course, uh, let's see, uh, Lube Lubelion, the uh, Searing Dragon. So those are our main fusions, I feel like, from this. Branded fusion, which is, uh, phew, this is an insane fusion card. It's kind of like Red Eyes Fusion or something, or even like, was it Destiny Fusion? You know how those are getting really popular? Well, Branded Fusion's another one of those crazy ones. It's like mainly for like Albaz and stuff and, uh, it's a good card. It's a very good card. It's the whole reason the structure deck I feel like is so good. So, yes, you want this. <laughs> you want to get three of those for sure. Uh, Branded Sword. Branded Retribution as well. And then there's Albaz. There's your main boy. And yeah, some reprints. Albion. Let's see, Dogmatica. You got some of them. Red Eyes Darkness is fairly good. Uh, yeah, Levenir. That's a nice one. Yeah, we got a couple of cards. I just forgot about that. Artifact Scythe is really good. Uh, we got both of the Chaos Dragons. Then uh, Seifert, or whatever, however you say his name. That's a good reprint. Keeper Dragon Magic's pretty good. Summoner Monk, I always remember that. Uh, Snow, uh, or excuse me, Ghost Ogre. Why did I say Snow? Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. There, okay, Dyslexia. Um, yeah, really good to see a reprint of that one. I still prefer it sometimes more than Ash Blossom, honestly. Effect Veiler's good. See, Branded Loss, Branded White. So you're getting most of your things you need right there, too. Different fusion stuff, because obviously that's what this deck does. Pot of Extravagance, probably one of the biggest reprints on this. It's pretty much worth buying, like, three of the decks if you want to get a few of these. And they'll be cheaper if you just want to buy the singles on TCG Player. Hint, hint, you know, <laughs> if you can see the wink. But, uh, yeah, th it's a good reprint. You want to get some of these. It's a good card. Called by the Grave, always good. Dark Ruler, no more. Same with that. That's a good reprint. Pick some of those up, honestly. Especially if you find them cheaper. Screams of the Branded. Judgment of the Branded. So many things were branded in the name. 
back to the front. There can only be one. Dimensional Barrier felt like pretty good and Waking the Dragon. And then you got a few more of your uh, other fusions too. So Ash Dragon, Glory Dragon. Yeah, you're getting a little bit of everything. And then we actually have the tokens, which I wish were hollow in this. I bet it's the Shrouded and everything. So yeah, you actually get all of them. I think in the OCG version, you only got like, it was random which one or something. There was something special about it, but these artworks are very nice. And even if you don't care about the structure deck, I feel like it's worth at least buying one of these for these tokens, because seriously, the artwork is top notch on those. So that's why I'm giving them their own little bit of time. But yeah. Structure deck's worth picking up. Buy three of them. I, I feel like I could actually just tell you, do it. That's your review. You want to get three of these. This deck will take over. This will be one of the top decks out there because with how everything's going with ban lists and everything, we're going to see probably a lot of bans after this is out, like a little bit. Like a, We're, we're going to get a few formats or at least one good format using this at full power because you can use this with Dragoon. That's why we hadn't really seen, I feel like, a hit on Dragoon or Red Eyes Fusion. Um, you still have Anaconda, Univerdi Anaconda, um, Fusion Destiny, that's going to be part of the deck. Basically, you can run all these different fusions together, and it's looking like basically fusion monsters are meta. You know, like they're the top tier right now because we have some of the strongest boss monsters for them, and whew, there's some craziness going on. And even too, you have like Super Poly and the different things you can do on that, and it just goes on and on from there. So definitely check this deck out. Like I said, if um, I would just recommend buying three of these if you can. Um, I think on TCG Player, the prices they should be. Don't pay more than they sh should be. I've seen some people trying to charge double the price. It should be around $10. Uh, if your card shop is selling it for more than that, I'd honestly look other places. That's how I feel. Like, I always want to say support the card shops, but if they're like double or even triple, like I've actually seen, check other places. That's honestly how I feel, because I hate saying that, but yeah, people should not scalp these and go crazy. I, I feel like you should, uh, you definitely want to pick up three of these though, and uh, yeah. I, I definitely recommend that too. I'm hoping it, they're going to push out enough of these two where it's not going to be too big of a problem on that either. But um, this is one of those decks that's going to be great. And like I said too, the reprints are good too. The Extravagance, that's definitely good. If you don't have that card, you might want to pick up a few of those. I wish Prosperity was in it too. I'd like an easy reprint of that, but I think we'll get that later. And uh, yeah, with Ghost from the Past to the second edition, um, there's going to be a lot of stuff for this deck in there too. So yeah, <laughs> let's just say get ready. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe and all that too. Sorry my voice sounds like crap. Allergies are kicking my butt. Um, I'm lucky to have a voice really. And um, yeah, just uh, tell me what you guys think about the deck. I might do a budget build if you guys want to see it. Those videos can kind of do meh for me, but let me know if you'd like to see that. And uh, yeah, just uh, again, pick it up. I, I recommend and use that TCG player link. I think there's some sales going on tomorrow. So if you use that, it really will help me out. And I would greatly appreciate it. So thank you guys for watching. Stay safe out there. Stay away from all the crazy people. And of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.